What's going on? We back. Goodfellas Sports TV wanted to give a reaction to the uh, Boston Celtics um, defeating the um, the 76ers tonight, 105 to 87 in Boston at the TD Garden Arena. Um, you look at that arena, you remember the old Boston Arena? <laughs> it's night and day, man. That old Boston Arena, <laughs> some of them playoff games in the summer, uh, didn't have any air conditioning. <laughs> And uh, see how technology is really, really come. I shout out to everybody supporting what we're doing. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Do a lot of different videos. Check our playlist. I'll kind of categorize what we do here. Um, and tonight for the Celtics, it was basically, um, you know, a lot of Jason Tatum, uh, you know, and Al Horford really doing the dirty work. You had, you know, uh, Bangs come off the bench, give, give you some buckets, but. Uh, Gordon Hayward and um, Kyrie Irving struggled. You know what I'm saying? It was rusty. Ain't played in a while, so I'm really not. I really wasn't worried about them in particular. You know, uh, in the struggle they had tonight. Um, you know, Marcus Morris had a, or I forget what Morris it is. Marcus Morris had a big night for uh, for them. Jason Tatum took the K 23 nine three assists. That being nine rebounds. Terry Rozier had a great night again, and um. Yeah, man, you know, they, you know, it was, it was shaky for both teams a little bit. Um, you know, well, Hayward and Kyrie was shaky. Um, Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart, they put, I mean, eh, they didn't have huge nights, you know what I'm saying? I um, believe Marcus, I mean, uh, Jalen Brown, uh, didn't finish, he finished with 12, 5, and 2. Um, and Smart finished with 7, 3, and 3. So, you know, it wasn't, you know, a crazy explosive night. For the Celtics and for the 76ers, it was big nights for the big, the big Uno and Do Dos, and um, Joel and Beeb and uh, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons had 19, 15, 8. Um, Joel and Beeb had 23, uh, 10 rebounds, two assists, and some blocks as well. Covington did well. I think JJ got Redick had 16 points. He shot the ball really, really well. And um, you know, one thing I noticed about Philadelphia was Markel Fultz. I don't think he's the fit for this team. Okay. Markel Folks is, is very a very redundant player within the Philadelphia 76ers uh offense. Um he's a scoring guard. He wanted to get his shot. He wanted he looked to score too much. He looked to get his, you know. He looked to score first and pass second. Um and his jump shot ain't that good. So basically, I'm not saying his jumper is Ben Simmons bad, but uh, basically you got the same player as Ben Simmons. He needs the ball in his hand. He can't really spot up and shoot. Um, just yet, it just turned out to be a, not only just a bad pick, which it could turn out to be a better pick. He could turn out to be a talented player, but it's turning out to be a bad fit. And they might have to stagger his minutes with, with Ben Simmons and let him run the second team and uh, let Ben Simmons run the, uh, the first team point guard because he gets into the rim looking to score and uh, when he should be looking to dish the ball. And he's trying to assert himself and find his swag and find his groove. But I just see right now he ain't getting fit in this offense, man. They need, um, they need more. They need more of a a, a, a shooter, uh, more of a good wing player. Um, um, they need a wing player, man. You know, I just can't explain it no more than that. They need somebody. Uh, uh, they need a guy like Kawhi Leonard would have been a good fit over there. They would have drafted Jason Tatum, Josh Jackson. If they would have drafted him. Would have all been better fits. Um, you know, Covington is a good player, but they need. A phenomenal wing player that can shoot um, more than Markel Fultz, but Markel Fultz is gonna have to build himself up to make himself even formidable trade bait, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the game was, you know, you know, basically it was what you seen last year from Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons would start off hot, and then he, you know, teams adjust to him, and then he'd taper off in the second half. He didn't have nowhere near the impact he had at the, in the first half, and um. And that was pretty much the story. Joel Embiid, he was steady, you know, most of the game. He, I think he came on a little bit more hotter in the second half a little bit. Um, you know, J.J. Redick was consistent with his jumper. Uh, T.J. McCollum came in and gave him some good minutes. But ultimately, the Boston Celtics is just better. He had a better team all the way around. Better wings, better guards. Um, and Al Horford, is, you know, he had like four or five blocks. He He's a good defender. So, it seemed like they don't. They still didn't have the guy to match up with Embiid, but Al Horford is plenty good enough, and they have better shooting. They got better wing play, 
and they got better defense. They got the kryptonite for Ben Simmons. You know, they can pack the paint or, or keep guys and play good team defense and keep Ben Simmons out the paint. And that's what they did. Exactly what Brad Stevenson said after the at the, after the halftime report it was, was they just need to keep Ben Simmons out the paint. And once you do that, it was all she wrote. Sarich was, was hurt. Um, he didn't play up to his potential last night. Um, and, you know, like Callie said, we did the live pregame show tonight, preview show tonight, man, for the NBA. The 76ers lack shooting. Covington and J.J. Reddick are they certified shooters, and Beeb can stretch it a little bit. Sixers need more shooting. Uh, Celtics got shooting and scoring, you know what I'm saying? Um, they got Tatum, Brown, Kyrie, Hay- Hayward, all can shoot and score it um, for, for, for the 76ers. You know, um, Ben Simmons is a scorer, but, I mean, he got a terrible jumper. And Beeb obviously can shoot and score. J.J. Reddick, can, can sh- he more of a shooter. Um but tonight it was just about Boston being a better team. That's it. They got more talent. And, uh, you know, Philly, you know, Philly is still missing chip and pieces, man. They missing a lot of pieces to the puzzle, man. They missing shooters. Um, I think Cyrus will play his role. I think they missing depth. They get Wilson Chandler back as well. Shout out to Ben Harbor, Michigan. I see you. Um, Mr. Basketball, Ben Har- uh Michigan, uh, Mr. Ben Harbor, uh, uh, Wilson Chandler. DePaul, uh, was it DePaul University? Yeah, you know, out in Illinois. So, shout out to my Michigander. Wilson Chandler was injured, but um, they'll be talented. You know, ain't too many teams that can defend Ben Simmons, man. And uh, obviously, he got to deform him a jump shot, but the Celtics just got crazy depth and crazy talent. Um, I think they could compete with the Golden State Warriors, but um, I would still trade for, uh, for Anthony Davis if I was them. Um, but Kyrie gonna get better and get in the groove. Gordon Hayward gonna get better and get in the groove. And I would expect Boston to make a trade, you know. Um, you know, I would expect them to make a trade, man, to be honest. But um, yeah, man, it's getting serious out here, man. The East is looking good with all LeBron. We'll see what uh, the seventy sixers can do now. And also for the seventy sixers, man, uh, the gap the gap between them and the, and Boston it's not only a personnel gap right now for them as far as the people, the teams and stuff. The teams, you know, uh, the players, excuse me. It's a personnel gap. But also, it's an experience gap. I mean, Boston, you know, they 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 made some playoff runs. You know, they got some experience. They got the championship guy and, and Kyrie Irving, the guy who uh, who made deep playoff runs in Al Horford in Atlanta. They got a guy, Gordon Hayward, that been to the playoffs. Um, Brad Stevenson, who been to the Eastern Conference. A lot of these dudes been to the – Eastern Conference uh, Finals back-to-back. Um, 76ers, man, they're they not used to being a hunted. You know what I'm saying? They used to being a hunter, sneaking up on on teams. And now, you know, they're the hunted, so they got to adjust to that. And, um, you know, when they go out there and play the Atlanta Hawks and they play the Mavericks, the, the Nuggets, you know, teams like that, Sacramento Kings, Pistons, they're going to have a target on their back now. It's a whole different type of energy, but um, – no need to, you know, really frown upon nothing for the Sixers, man. It was a good, it was a good game for them. They, they know what they got to do, man. Hopefully, they can develop Markel Fultz good enough, and then they they can make a move. You know what I'm saying? They can trade him because that's what they gonna need to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think they missed. They made a big mistake. Uh, also, remember they drove they drafted Jalil Okafor. That was a huge mistake. Norris Noel was a huge mistake, and Markel Fultz might seem to be the most deadly mistake and the costly mistake. Um, obviously Jason Tatum, Josh Jackson was the better, was the better pick or even a guy like Lloyd marketing, even though they got a charge, but, um, like I said, it was a good game. I think Al Horford played a wonderful game. I thought he was an unsung hero, held down the paint, um, had a good game, uh, probably didn't have the most phenomenal numbers of anybody on the team, but he played a good game. He held it down. And, um, you know, Al Horford is the, is the heart of that team, the heart and soul of that team. You know what I'm saying? He's the glue guy. And you need those glue guys to be successful in the league, especially him being an undersized five. He holds his own. So um, he held down the paint, kind of uh, stopped Ben Simmons and, and uh, Joel B from dominating the paint. And they forced, you know, the Sixers to uh, shoot the ball. So it was an excellent opening game, even though it turned into a little bit of a busted open uh, blowout. Um, it was a good game to kick it off with, man. And both teams are supremely talented. You can see why they consider number one and two in the East to succeed the LeBron James here in the Eastern Conference. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot from these teams. I, mean, I enjoy a lot of their players, watching them. Um, very, very talented organizations, very storied organizations. 
Bird, you know, um, you know, Bird, you know, Paul Pierce, you go back to, uh, you know, uh, Bill Russell, then Sixers, you go back to Dr. J, Allen Iverson. So two-story franchises, I think it's good for the league to have these stories franchises, man. And now the Warriors in the, um, the Warriors in the, uh, OKC about to play, uh, Russell Westbrook, uh, not playing knee injury and, uh, it's terrible, terrible news, man. Uh, Chris Webber called in the game. I think he's the worst in the game. <laughs> I hate to say that about a fellow Detroit, but I think he's the worst in the game at, at commentating, man. I can't stand him, man. But much bless to all you brothers out there supporting us, man. Um, we're going to continue to hold down the NBA for it, man. Uh, we talk boxing, NFL, you know, so, so many different uh, things we talk. So we appreciate, we would love to have you guys as part of the Goodfellas Sports TV family and that Lions Den basketball community family. Subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so you get the notifications when we drop that heat. And uh, don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as well. You can follow us on all social media platforms as well if you would like to make a donation to our PayPal link to help us continue to grow the page. Uh, for some reason, YouTube was shut down uh, for a couple hours live on 7 Day Sports TV. Make sure you go support that brother and what he's doing over here. Uh, one of the OGs of the, of the Lions Den basketball and box community. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, man. We was on the stream, and now it's back up and running. Looking forward to, uh, you know, catching OKC and Warriors. Hopefully it's a more competitive game than we thought. But uh, we're going to hold it down. Much blessed to you guys out there once again, and the brothers and sisters that support us in the channel.